Super X we see today, it was a manifestation or it is a physical manifestation of the work you put in almost a year ago. How important was that? And how do you structure your mind to set up the brand to be six to 12 months in advance so that you have the products you want for your customers when you want it and when they want it? Now, that is a great question. And this is something that we've just implemented, believe it or not, over the last six months to where we were really focused on getting ahead. And in business, or for the basically the first two and a half years of me starting my business, I was going month to month. And if you understand business at any, uh, at any higher level, that's not the way you do it, right? So the biggest takeaway that I've had is planning not just you know the day or the week or the month, but planning the year out ahead of time. And any business who wants to be successful in the long term and continue to make progress, you have to plan ahead. And that's not just with new products, but I will give it, I'll get into the technical stuff real quick. Right now, we've started planning our product launches every single month. We have a product launch every month and we've started planning these product launches a year and a half ahead of time. And here's the crazy part. A year ago, I was planning this on a month to month, maybe two month basis. And it was crazy. I was, I was running around like a chicken with its head cut off and it, mm -hmm. it's very unproductive. So planning ahead is so important. And it's something that I'm becoming obsessed with. I don't want to get three months ahead. I don't want to get six months ahead. I want to get three years ahead. Mm -hmm. And something that uh, Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon does is um, people always congratulate him. They're like, Hey Jeff, this was a nice year. You had a great year. Amazon had a, a wonderful year. And he's like, well, thank you. But I planned this year five years ago. A hundred percent. And that always stuck to me. And, and it's, it's more so uh, more recent than anything where it's really, I'm really valuing the importance of that. And it's so true. It's like when you first start, uh, it, it's stressful and there's a lot, it, there's scrambling. You have to figure it out. But once you find a product market fit, once you find something that works for you, the next phase is, you know, I, I hate to say this, but you need to, you need to pull out the MBA and you need to, you know, I didn't go to college and I think I don't, I didn't graduate, but you need to become a business professional and you do mm -hmm. that by organizing and planning ahead. So some things that you might want to plan ahead, just some um, uh, tactical advice mm -hmm. that you guys listening can actually use. If you're doing products like I am, where you're doing new product launches, you're doing an active wear line, plan ahead um, every single product launch for at least six months, if not a year, mm -hmm. if not two years. Um, that's number one. Secondly is plan your, uh, plan your financial forecast. Meaning if you want to hit a sales number, um, and you know, next month you have to know exactly how much product to order to hit that number. So sales forecasts are very important and that's something I'm just starting to do. So if let's just say I'll use easy numbers. If you want to hit $50,000 in sales in a month, that means you have to have X amount of product to achieve that. So you need to start by number one, planning what products you want to release. Number two, planning ahead your financial forecast so that way you can actually hit those goals. And then number three, you want to plan where you're going in terms of marketing strategies, um, you know, like influencers you might want to work with, uh, social media strategies. But what I say by marketing strategies, it's really relevant for anyone starting a brand today is the social media is like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all these things. Advertising is changing and it's changing every month. It's changing on a month to month basis. So you don't want to get stuck, you know, you, uh, relying on some sort of advertising and then that advertising to go down the drain. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people who've been in the game for a while, two years or a year, even a year ago, Facebook was really great for ads. You know, you, you, you would have a lot of success, but because of the iOS changes Apple implemented, Facebook advertising has gone down. So people now are migrating to things like TikTok and re-migrating mm -hmm. to YouTube. So planning your marketing and not relying on anything is super important. So always always feel free to be like, okay, what if this happens? So plan ahead, always, always have a, always have what I like to call a belt and suspenders, right? Mm. So if your belt goes out, you got the suspenders. If your suspenders go out, you got the belt, right? So you always have a backup plan. So back to the point is plan everything ahead as far as you can. And not only is it going to save you stress, um, you're, you're going to feel a lot happier. And also if anything goes wrong, you've planned ahead, you know, it's it, what, what's worse, you know, like having something fail, like, Oh, six months from now, this isn't going to work versus I put everything into this month's launch and, and, and for whatever reason, it's not going to work out. 